Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Adrian Huang and I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in shoulder, elbow, hand and wrist pathology. And I am here today with our amazing cast technician, Marianne. She's in charge of all of our splints, uh, our slings and our casts. And she is gonna show us today how to properly fit your shoulder abduction sling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the first step to make sure that you're um, have a good fit with your sling, we need to measure your arm. We pretend your surgery will be on your right side. And what I want you to do, just put your elbow up like this, and I'm gonna measure from the elbow, and I'm gonna go all the way to the knuckles of the finger. We found that the sling needs to be uh, kind of a little too long in the wrist because they always travel backwards and you wanna have a really good support in your wrist. So what I measure, you need a size large. We're selling the, this particular sling. It's from Breg. It comes with two parts. So one is the sling bit where the arm rests and gets supported by straps. And the other uh, part are those two pillows. And um, depending on the surgery, what you do, you um, use those pillows to get the arm in a good position. So it goes between your body and your arm. I will just, um, as we put the pillow, you slide your arm in all the way. There you go. And you squeeze those pillows in between your body and the arm. What we like about this sling is um, the good shoulder supports the sling. It doesn't go around your neck and they're pretty easy to put on. And on the other side, the good shoulder, you go with, in with your arm like a backpack. So that good shoulder um, holds the strap and you clip it in here. There you go. And then there's one more strap. It goes around the belly and clips in here. Now, very important is to make sure all these straps are set to your size because you want a really good support on your um, operated shoulders. So what we always check, and you might have to do at home, check all the positions. So we want your arm in the sling like this, uh, fully supported. I, as I said before, those slings like to travel backwards. So you don't want to end up in a sling like this. Just pull it forward, elbow nice in the back of that sling. You have this little strap you could um, put on to support your thumb. And it's also helping to anchor the, the sling um, so it's not traveling backwards. For the straps to um, adjust to height and, and fit, I find this one can be pretty loose. That's just so it's not sliding up to your neck. But if I um, adjust those Velcros, if I pull, see it lifts his arm a little bit further up or a little further down. What we always aim is that your elbow is at a 90 degrees angle. Same thing with the belly strap. They want to feel secure, but it shouldn't strangle you or shouldn't be too, um, too loose. So what I tell the patients usually, when you're in the sling and you're totally relaxed, do you feel your shoulder is supported or you still feel like you have to hold it up a little bit? No, it feels very nicely supported. Okay. Now, often people say, ah, I'm still just not quite right. So if it's one more bit and people keep forgetting this. See this strap on the back? There is a Velcro too. So if I pull on this, do you feel like the yep. position changes? It opens up my shoulders. Yeah. I would just play around and see, you know, does that make a difference? Do you feel good support? And if they say yes, that's great. Otherwise you just have to play around a bit. There's also one more. Um, there's a little flap on a sling. See how uh, offloaded that elbow is? You could even make it go back a little bit more. So no pressure points. And you can also adjust this to make it nice and snug so you're tucked in in a sling. Now once it sits nice on you and um, you will be going home from the hospital, 
uh, when you recover, you have to come out of the sling to wash, to change your shirt. And the good thing is, the only thing you have to worry is you undo the clip, undo this clip, and you can come out of the sling. Let's do this, just slide out. If you're alone, um, what sometimes helps if you just park your arm on a table, then you don't have to worry about doing something accidentally. So to put it back on, you're alone, you need to do this all on your own. Put the uh, sling on a table or um, sit down so it's resting on your legs. And the first thing you wanna do, you're gonna slide your arm into the sling. And remember, you want your elbow all the way to the back. There you go. You've got the little anchor so your um, hand can slide around. And then the other side, remember like a backpack. Now that's the tricky part to get it to the other side. There, just like a backpack there. And then you need to find the right clip. It only goes into one clip. So it would be this one. And I promise you'll get really good at these things. Perfect. And then you find your belly strap in the back. You clip it in. That's all you have to do. If the sling is sitting well, you don't need to do anything with the Velcros. So the things that can go wrong while wearing this sling, you know, you, someone was taking out some Velcros because they didn't know all they have to do is the clip. Just remember your good shoulder is holding up the sling. There is nothing going around your neck. And so the, the straps, as we said, nothing around your neck. You have one strap over the shoulder and one strap under the shoulder. So it keeps everything on your, on your um, good shoulder and no extra weight um, goes places where you could have pro problems. The other thing, what sometimes happens, like you come out of the sling and you know, remember you do the clips, come out of it and go back in. And then on the, on the um, you just gotta make sure there is nothing twisted on the back. On the strap side is a mesh fabric that goes onto your skin. And what sometimes happens, this buckle here likes to travel through. So you end up like this. I was like, what the heck? Like, I'm not twisted in the back. I have the mesh side on my good shoulder. This law looks good. Just um, push this back here and it's all gonna be nicely fitting you again. The other thing is, so the thumb strap, just remember when you're uh, going home from the hospital, your arm is still frozen. Do not use this yet because you will not know how much pressure you put on that thumb. Once you're, it's all fully awake and you have full feeling, that's where you use this. And I don't know if you noticed on this um, sling too, there is a little exercise ball that goes here. Once you're awake and your doctor says, yeah, that's good for you to do, you can do basically physio all day long. You just squeeze the ball, which helps with the blood flow, which helps with your swelling. And um, sometimes patients say it actually feels better if they're holding something in their hand. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks, Marianne, for the breakdown. So this is how you uh, size and fit a shoulder abduction sling. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your healthcare provider.